Hi there, I am Safir and you are watching Tanuki Dev, my journey to game development. So what is Tanuki Dev? Tanuki Dev is a game development project I started a year ago. While I was learning Unity and C Sharp, I posted every week a report of my activity on a blog. However, I realized soon that writing a blog wasn't a good way to build an audience. Eventually, my day-to-day -day job took over and I lost motivation, so I stopped writing and learning, putting Tanuki Dev on the back of my mind. Today I'm back, and this is the first episode of my journey to game development. The very first step for me was to refresh my little knowledge of C-Sharp by creating a very small game by the end of the week. After a couple of days, in the tutorial Purgatory, it was time for me to open Unity and practice. Since the tutorial I watched was about making a dodge bomb game with simple mechanics, I decided to stick with it and make my own version with my own art style. In Photoshop, I drew a quick concept of what the game will look like. I used simple shapes to design my characters. The player will be a cute QB and the enemies will be aggressive triangles falling from the sky. Then I let my creativity to define a background, UI and other props I could use to populate my game. Once the sprites were created, I was ready to jump into Unity. I was very pleased to notice that my brains recall the c -sharp basics I learned a year ago. It allows me to finish a quick prototype within two days. At this point, I had the player moving on an axis, enemies spawning from the sky and a score system. When the player is touched by an enemy, the game stopped. I decided to take more time to polish this prototype and add some functionalities. I found that just dodging enemies was a bit boring gameplay. So I built a star collecting system to add more challenge. I created a main menu and game over screen so my prototypes feel like a real game. As a big fan of the Final Fantasy saga and JRPG in general, I tried to reproduce the same type of menu selections that those games have. The result made me giggle. <laughs> Finally, I learned about particle systems, sprite animation, and audio sources. For the music, I'd like to give a big shout out to Noah Eschler, and for the sound effect, I am using the clip for Matthias Matix Laud. Everything is very simple, but at least it had more appeal to the eyes and the ears. After fixing the last bugs, the game was complete and ready to ship. I feel quite proud and happy with this small achievement because, well, it's the first game I made. If you want to play Dodge Panic and let me some feedbacks, it is available on itch.io. Just check the link on the description below. I am very curious to know your comment on it. That's it guys, this was the first page of my journey into game development. If you like what I do, want to support me and be up to date with future videos, please hit the subscribe button. In the meantime, have fun and I'll see you later. Cheers!